here we are. All confined. Right? Yeah. I'd... Okay, here's the story. The dad told me not to get in the slide, stay on the ground, and drive the mule back from the field to the stranging bench. Gosh, I missed it. Seven, are you in heaven? Come check it out, y'all. Here we go, here we go as a family for our first ride in the ring together. Austin's been over here once by herself, but we haven't all been. So we got an overcast, albeit warm day. And um, we, need to, we, need, we need to ride some horses before our show. So we found an afternoon we could get that done. Looky over here, Rip, what's that? <laughs> He's checking it out. What is that? It's something new. All right. Now we got wind again, but it feels good today because it's warm. It's in the 80s for sure. <laughs> Here we are. All confined, Rippy. We're all confined. <laughs> so far, so good. Little mist down there showing off. Riding without rain. <laughs> well, the dogs are getting a good workout, too. And Duke, which Duke is one of the dogs, obviously. Okay, Mayor. <laughs> Decided to end it, end it with a nice little trail ride. Get everybody's brains thinking about something else, other than just the drill type stuff. And up a little hill. <laughs> this road still looks good. This road was just redone, was it last year or the year before? Last year. Yeah. Haven't been up here in a while. Nice little, nice little field up here. It's a pretty hot spot. What'd you say, babe? Oh, oh, you bushhogged it not too long ago. Okay. There's a deer blind over there. This is ours, but that right there on the other side, that fence line is not ours. I mean, the tree line is not our land. <laughs> Lawrence, you've been pushing trees. He's been pushing trees the last couple of days. I didn't get any video of that. But down in the fields, getting them off the, out of the fields. Okay. We gotta get these cut because they're on the fence. One. I don't know about that one. But this one for sure. We haven't been through here in a while. It's so pretty now. Everything's green. All the little buttercups. He said, right here is where a mule laid down with him in a yellow jacket nest. How old were you? Five. Five? Okay, well, that wasn't a good day. You were riding the mule? No, I was bringing the slide back. Oh, he was bringing the slide back. They had to back up in that field. What? They strung the tobacco, strung the tobacco between these two branches. <laughs> mm. What? Yeah, I dreamt it about 10, 15 times. Oh my god! I'd be right down there playing. That dude would come out of that branch and he, he had big old sunglasses <laughs> on. And he'd take out weapons. I knew him like a devil, and he'd be breathing on the back of my neck. And <laughs> 
Wake up at the same place right there. Okay, he said this is where an ape. Behind him woke up, that gorilla would have got me. A gorilla with glasses used to chase him in his dreams. Yeah, He'd come out of this creek right I'm here. That ain't right. Tell him really quick while you're facing the camera about the mule and the slide, what you were saying. Okay, here's the story. Right back at it, buddy. Speak up. Oh, Dad told me not to get in the slide, stay on the ground, and drive the mule back from the field to the stranging bench. And I was riding in the slide where they couldn't see me. And she got in a yellow jacket nest and they got stinging them. She took off running. And then towed the slide all the pieces and drug me up through there. I had the fly lines around my shoulder. Drug me up through there and drug all my clothes off. Mm. And the on my eyelids. Scabs on your eyelids. Yeah, it was scabs all over. I bet you got in trouble. Oh, yeah. I had <sighs> nothing from going up through that, man. You had what? It's trying to, it's trying to like get rid of an uh, octopus running 100 mile an hour that's got you. Mm. So he's saying he wasn't supposed to be riding in the slide with the tobacco, but he was little and he was taking the easy way out. And then the mule got into a yellow jacket nest and she took off and he was in the slide. And it tore him up. Mm. Thank you for the the sound effects. I won't show everybody, but we can hear it, little duck. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm listening. You got a other mule laid down, and you got stinging, and she just laid down, and you stung her, and she died right there. Oh, she died. The yeah, other one. Been probably. Oh man. Five or ten minutes. Oh my goodness. She just wallowing and squealing. And oh, that's terrible. I couldn't get her up. Mm. I was whooping and doing everything. Aww. She was trying to wallow and get the yellow jacket off of her and they just regular stinging. Oh. Well, that's a sad story. And then I tried Little Man. And mm. He was about 18 months old. Me and Mike was riding. I got off to eat lunch and tied him in a yellow jacket's nest. And I was sitting there eating lunch, and I kept seeing him stomping on. Mm. And I walked down there, and I mean, they were all over. And I untied him, got him out of there, and they were up in his tail. I was just wiping oh, him out of that. Oh, gosh. I don't like these stories. And he had knots on every place on him just about, I said, well, he's a legend to him. I never ride him home. He got done eating lunch. He got on him. He went on like ain't nothing happened. <laughs> oh, little man. Crazy. Mm. So they're all different. I mean, he won't squeal and jump and let he just stand there stomping <laughs> like he was stomping his flies and swatting his tail. Mm. Oh, man. All right. Let's head to the house. I'll get up this hill. <laughs> I know you want to run off it, don't you, Rip? Okay. We are back in the kitchen. We had such a good day, such a good ride. Um, the weather is just, okay, this is not cooperating. The weather, it's my favorite. It's overcast, okay. <laughs> it's overcast, it's warm, but it's breezy. It's just like, it's nice. It would have been really hot if the sun had been out, but anyway, it wasn't. So, this is what, this is what we're doing something fun tonight. We got shrimpies. I'm gonna saute them here in just a second. I cooked the spaghetti squash in the oven and then I, um, you know, just, what do you call that? Where you just like, you know, you just shred it, shred it. It's the coolest, it's the coolest. Is it a vegetable or a fruit? It's a, it has seeds. Does that make this a fruit? That's odd. Maybe it is. Anyway, and then I just put some olive oil and salt and um, we call it. Okay, I gotta get on this though, hold on. My garlic, my garlic is starting to get a little too brown. So I'm just going to saute this. I have butter and oil. I actually have a little almond oil because I knew it was going to get hot. I, let, I always do that. I let my garlic get too, get too brown too fast. I might put a little um, stock in there. Anyway, then we got our alfredo sauce and asparagus. This is a really, whew, Healthy, yummy meal. Let me wipe that off. Better. All right, I put a little chicken broth in there just to just to keep the um, <laughs> garlic from burning. Really, this is a lot of shrimp. How much shrimp was that? I don't even know. It was um, 
32 ounces. Two pounds, huh? All right. Well, if there's any left, it's not like it won't be eaten. That'll be amazing. Tomorrow on my salad for lunch. Uh, yeah. Okay, let that cook. And we got supper. And then the kids and I need to go to town tonight. We need to get, look for Wesley a pair of boots. <sighs> Always going through boots, it seems like. And um, Austin really needs a straw hat to show in. She really doesn't. She has, she has one, but it, like everything else, just doesn't fit exactly right. So, I don't have real high hopes for being able to find what we need in Danville, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Okay, supper was really good, and I've been in there cleaning up, but the rest of the crew has come back over to the corral and the ring, and I think they're going to try to get seven and the sheep and put them in the ring um, and let them eat it down some, but they got to get water to it, so anyway, they don't necessarily need my help, but I'm going to come see what's going on. Before we head to town. They just told me, oh my gosh, I missed it. They already got them in there. <laughs> hey, babies. Hey, what you got? Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're like, you did this just for us? Well, not exactly. But you can think that for a little while. Woo, starting to shed our aunt. Okay, they're bringing you water. I don't think they want to be in here. Y'all, this is like, this should be like heaven. Seven's in heaven. Seven, are you in heaven? Yeah, this is nice. I like this. This is good. Hey, easy. That'll do. Lie down. Good girl. <laughs> No, I didn't say they weren't in count, but they don't get used enough. Oh, okay. Hey, Seven. Hey, Seven. <laughs> what do you say, buddy? You happy? I'm happy. I got glass. I got new friends, even though I don't care anything about them, evidently. <laughs> Martin said he thought he would, they would do something with them, but... Yeah, I thought he would. Like food. He wanted to smell something. <laughs> How'd you get him over here? Put a lead on him, put a flower behind it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Move in like a champ. Good boy. They couldn't get him out of the shed there. I sit there and there. He jumped out. <laughs> he jumped right. <laughs> He's happy. Hello, hello, hello. We're going to give you some shade. We're going to give him some shade today. Zip ties and baling twine make the farm go around. <laughs> Who about hold that comb? Thank you. So this is the weirdest looking bug and he just grabbed it and he closed up and he said eventually he'll kind of like pop. Oh, is he thinking about it? No. So like, turn him over so you can see the top side of him. He just looks wild. His eyes, well, they're not real eyes, I'm sure. It just mm. looks like eyes. Huh. He's, he's playing dead. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Put him back on the tarp. <gasps> there he goes. <laughs> I think Seven's going to try to eat it. He is standing under it, though. <laughs> What's this? He said, what? What is this? Oh, can I lick it? <laughs> oh boy, you're a mess. Come check it out, y'all. There's no room for everybody. Yeah. It'll either be really good or really bad for trying to desensitize the horses bring them out here and it starts flapping in the wind like this. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> he is so nosy, literally. You're nosy, 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 aren't you? Yeah, I know. Ow. Got a rough tongue, so I'm anything with him. 
<laughs> you can't do anything with him. Because he's so rotten. That is... Okay, that's my whole hand there, buddy. Okay. I don't think you can get anything out of that. Golly, you are just a mess. Starting to wonder if this is going to work. He is just, he's licking everything. He's going to end up chewing on the edge up there, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You are just one nosy little dude. Curious. Got to check everything out. <laughs> Try not to eat it up. So you have some more shady. <laughs> All right, we just gave him water. And he's gonna get one of those big totes that we use to take water to the field and put water in it and leave it over here. So we'll just be able to run a hose out of it. That will make watering a lot easier. <laughs> I mean, they act like they want out. Y'all are silly. And the guy's coming to spread fertilizer. So we're getting putting fertilizer on the um, the two matua fields okay. again, hoping that it makes them look better. The first time was just nitrogen, right? Huh? Nope. Oh, it was the same thing. It was something else. Probably. Anyway, it doesn't. It's just not. It's not what it needs to be. We're a little worried about that. I'm just hoping this does the trick. We've had rain. We've had warm weather. I don't know. But it's got to do something better than it's doing right now to make a good crop. Okay, well that's that. He's going to meet the fertilizer man. I am going to help Austin with history, make some meatballs for the kids to have tonight. We have a cattleman's meeting. They don't want to go. So anyway, prep supper. Um, and then I got to take Wesley. He is going this afternoon to do some drone photography for our church. Um, they have a project they're working on and they would like to have some drone work. And um, so they don't even know anybody else in the church that does it, which is amazing to me. But I just love that. I love that they've asked him to do it and that he has this gift and he can do it. And so we're going to do that in the next little bit. And it's just the whole day's going to be gone. And that's what we're doing. So, um, yeah, these meatballs, y'all, they're so good. I do them in the air fryer. I just make up basically like meatloaf meat and then just roll them in balls and put them in the air fryer. And then they're going to use that with leftover spaghetti squash and Alfredo sauce that I had from last night. So, win-win. Um, what else? Um, I think that's about it. We, uh, tomorrow is going to be all about getting ready for the show, cleaning horses, washing horses, and supposedly it's supposed to maybe, um, thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, so it might be literally washing horses in the rainstorm. I don't know, but we got to get them washed, so <laughs> that'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully our friend Wendy is coming to help, and, um, yeah, okay. I hope this finds you well. Oh, speaking of drone photography, I've got some that I'm going to plug into the end of this video that I meant to put in the last one. Um, I think it's like time lapse. We're going to see how that works. So hopefully you'll see that here in just a minute. <laughs> he had the he had it just hovering there for a while when they were doing some of the, the um, fence building for the ring. So um, we'll just we'll just take it out with that. Okay. All right, thanks so much for being here, and we hope to see you back next time.